we are talking about the truth about facts. You can join the conversation now if you have a question about the topic. The number to call is 0808-054-2233. That's 0808-054-2233. And you can always tweet at CTV underscore Mary A. And if we get the tweets, we might read them on air. We are talking about trans fats. Yeah. You said eating of trans fats makes a craving for more. For more, more fat, for more fat. Until you now cons until you take in the essential fatty acids, because you're taking in trans fats, your body would want more fat until you satisfy it with the EFAs, which is the omega three and omega six. Okay, so are you saying that the omega three and omega six satisfies? Yes. The body wants it. The body cannot produce it by itself, so you have to take it in. So when you take in trans fats you would keep wanting fat, 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 until you give it EFAs then. So what I'm hearing here is that if you take the correct type of fat, you're not likely to crave for more. And overeat. So it's like a very nice way of doing your diet. Yes. But people don't know that. No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about cutting out carbs? Because that is the latest fad. Like I said, I don't believe in cutting out anything. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing should be cut. No, your body needs all of them in the right proportion. How are these trans fats formed? Where are they found? So that people can understand, you know, when they see it, they say, okay, I'm looking at trans fats now. I shouldn't consume this. When you buy anything, try to read the label. You'd see hydrogenated oils. Okay. A clever way of clever cloaking it. Of cloaking, yeah. <laughs> you, see, you see hydrogenated oil. What does that mean? Um, they pass the, the liquid oil through very high temperature. And then they, they add them a metal catalyst, maybe like um, nickel or copper or zinc. And then they bubble hydrogen gas through it. So it's supposed to make it shelf stable, like I said. Yeah, and then um, increase the melting point. And once it goes through this process, it changes, the molecule changes completely. In fact, it looks more like plastic than the normal fat. Okay. It's closer to, as what it becomes afterwards, it's closer to plastic than the normal fat. So your, your, your liver doesn't recognize it. So as it consumes the trans fats, it's, because it doesn't know what it is, it treats it as a toxin. Okay, and then that invites more fat. More to fat the body because, yeah, because it has to cloak the toxin. Yes, to protect your organs. So the trans fat is, brings the toxins. The toxins go to your fat, your fat cells and stay there, embedded in them. And, and once you have a, any weak area in your body, toxins go there and stay. That weak area becomes weaker. And a diseased part of your body that, that stays diseased for long, at a point, you can't even treat it anymore. Do you understand? Yes. So it's, it's, um, it's best to avoid trans fats. It's as like a much, vicious cycle. Yes, as much as possible. Now, um, do you, can you give us an idea of what the you know, accepted levels are for fat? Like I said, they're different for different, different age ages. So, so you have to maybe go through, um, there's a chart that has this age. So if your child is within that age, you check for what quantity they should consume. Okay. So I can consume 90 grams at my own age and my own level, for instance. Yeah. So people should also research and check and say, okay, what's, um, what, what quantity of fat can I take? What quantity of fat shouldn't I take? So for saturated fats, for instance, for men, they should take like 30 grams. And then for women, less than 20 grams if possible. That's per for serving? A, a day. A day. A day, yeah. In a whole a day. day, yes. Okay. Now, um, they've said that olive oils and then some other oils are the best oils to use. But there's a problem of when you have put the oil in a pan and it gets hot experts are skeptical why yeah because the fatty content is destroyed when if 
um, fat, the oil gets to its smoke point. It's, it decomposes. The fat goes rancid at that point. So you don't want to heat oil to the point where it decomposes. Growing up, sometimes they'll, they'll say um, uh, ball rice. You fry the oil and then it, it, all, it changes color. Yes. At that point, it's useless. Even the palm oils, they do that yeah, to they the do, palm yeah, oils. Yeah, yeah. They bleach them. They bleach it. At that point, they destroy the fatty content. So never heat oil to that point. There are, there are, there are certain oils like coconut oil and um, butter that have high levels of, of saturated fat. And because of, because of these levels of, of saturated fat, they can withstand high temperature. Okay. So those are the best oils for cooking. Butter? Butter. And organic butter. Organic butter. Yes. Okay. Which butter is not organic? Organic foods are foods that are produced without chemicals and pesticides and all that. But um, normal commercial farming, it's, it's more expensive to, have to, to um, run an organic farm. The produce is less. So most times when it's in the store, it's more expensive and people don't want to buy them because they don't know the value. Okay, so you said no chemicals, yeah. no pesticides. No. You just make it without putting anything to clean it up, to preserve it? No, it's raw. In fact, raw, unrefined oil is the best. So even when we say coconut oil, it has to be unrefined. It has to be... Okay, can you get this coconut oil from a shop or is it something you've got to do yourself? No, you can get it from a shop. And it would say? It has to be written there. Ask them. Processed ask the, organic oil. Organic, yes. Ask them. It's a virgin, unrefined. Those are the words to look out for. Unfiltered. For olive oil, you see extra virgin. Yeah, unrefined, unfiltered. Once olive oil is cloudy, you know that it's not been filtered. Oh, that's a good tip. Yeah, and then if it has a um, golden yellow color, you know that, that it was made from very ripe olives which is good because the nutrients will be higher than when it wasn't quite right before it plugs off. That is a good tip. It should be cloudy, yeah. preferably, yes. and a brighter color. What yeah. color did you Golden say? Golden yellow for olive oil, yeah. So ask, when you're buying, ask them. Okay, but when you cook, when you cook traditionally, for example, can you by yourself form these trans fats by the way you cook? Yeah, once it goes, once it becomes rancid, it's destroyed, your body doesn't recognize it anymore. And those are the trans yes, fats that yes, are in it, there. Yes, yes. So you don't overheat. Like olive oil, for instance, you use, you, can, you consume it raw or medium heat. Butter and coconut oil can withstand higher temperatures because of the saturated fat content. Then oils like flaxseed oil, fish oils, you don't even just get them straight from the fridge and put on your meal. Okay, this organic butter and all these oils that are so organic that they, they don't have a very long shelf life, mm. do you refrigerate them or how do you keep them? You keep them in dark places because the same way you don't want to overheat them, you don't want sunlight to, um, you, you don't keep them and expose them to light because the same thing will happen to them. So you keep them in dark containers, in maybe in your cupboard, don't put them in plastic containers as much as, as, much as possible. You, uh, for essential oils or flaxseed, fish oil, you, you refrigerate them. Okay, Yahaya is asking, what is the proper way to lose weight? <laughs> I think maybe he's talking about, you know, the time you eat, what you eat, and, on, and all that stuff. You don't eat late, okay. for sure. Um, ha try to have a, a, a big breakfast. A big breakfast? Yes. And um, you don't eat three hours before you sleep. Okay. And then sleep well because you burn calories while sleeping. So if you sleep well, you will burn calories yes, better? Yes, a lot. A okay. lot better. And then drink lots of water. Most times you feel you're hungry. You're actually thirsty. So first of all, once you feel hungry, go drink water. 
Thank you so much, Edith, for coming on the show. Yeah. It's been wonderful having you. Thank, Thank you for being with us. Let's do it again next week. Have a great day. I'm Mary Alala Yusuf.